Hey my exhalers, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome guys. Now look, before we get into this video, cause I am bringing you guys part four of my Boss Life Entrepreneur Series. Now, but before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button y'all. If you support me, hit that subscribe button. I'm bringing you guys free content. Nobody's paying me <laughs> to give you guys all this business advice guys. So please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be tuned in for all of my videos. And guys, today I am talking about some essentials for your online business. Hi guys, so in episode one, we talked about traits of a successful person. In episode two, we talked about things to do before launching your business. In episode three, we talked about business structure. Now, after you have done all of those things, we're up on episode four, where we're now going to talk about the essentials for starting a business or primarily starting an online business. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, y'all, because I got some tips. Uh -uh -uh. All right. First thing first is a laptop or a computer. You need a computer to be able to manage about 100% of everything that you have going on. So that is plain and simple with a laptop, okay? Or you can use an iPad, computer, whatever it is that you need it, whether it's for running your website, shipping orders, um, staying up to date with your bookkeeping, all of that stuff. You need a laptop, iPad, computer, de like desktop, any of those things, okay? Number two is a printer slash scanner. Um, the printer I have is a Epson Workforce 7710. So it is uh, um, obviously a printer, a scanner, a faxer, all that in one. And it is really, really good with the, cra with the graphics on that printer. I use this printer to do a lot of things, whether it's printing stuff for shirts, um, printing out my labels, printing out documents, whatever. I use it for everything, y'all, everything. My next thing is labels, guys. So I like to try to ship all of my own stuff. Um, so I print my own labels. So there are many different companies or labels that you can use. I use uh, Avery shipping labels. They come in, what is this? An, an eight, eight and a half by 11 regular, um, regular letter size, guys. I can't get my words out. Um, but I love it because I can use it for um, big labels, small labels, whatever it is. Um, you can print um, multiple ones. So they come in different ones. You guys can see it. I have them all. But they have, um, let's see, they have the 2 by 4s 3.5 by 4 3.5 by 5 and so forth all the way up, depending on your label size. Um, or you can get the big size and use them in half, whatever but I use the labels. Um, I print mine on my computer, um, but you can buy a printer for a label, like a label printer. Um, there's a really good one, Dymo, and I would love to have it actually. <laughs> but right now it's not a necessity. Those are like what, like almost $200 for them, but they're really good. And you only have to buy paper. Like you don't have to keep buying ink for it and all the other stuff, which in the long run, essentially probably would come out cheaper than printing them on your printer. But getting a label maker is key if you wanna be able to ship your own stuff um, out to customers. Um, going along with label makers, having something to ship your stuff in. So things like, um, things like poly mailers. So I have like some black ones and like these are like teal bluish color. I have these. Um, if it's going in if it's going in boxes, I always make sure I have um the bubbles to go into it. The bubble wrap, whatever. Um also you can go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has um mailers and they have small boxes in there, y'all. And look, see, I don't even know where I put these stickers at. I'm about to I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna find them. Because they got fragile stickers too, y'all, that I've used on packages. All right, y'all, so these are the um, fragile stickers from the Dollar Tree. Oop, check it out. Comes in a pack of 10. And they're like these. So I put these like on the outside of boxes 
or on um outside of my mailers whatever it is that i'm using if it's fragile these are from the dollar tree y'all pack of 10 y'all know i love dollar tree check it out okay um another option you can always go to usps.com and when you have an account with them they do two things one you can get all of your shipping stuff for free yes for free they send them to you um and they will also pick up your packages like you can set up um front door pickups you don't even got to be there honestly you print your labels out you put it on the boxes and you leave them at the front door with your scheduled uh pickup time now these are like some of the boxes it's a priority mail if you don't care about what's on the box these are priority mail boxes but i get like packs of these for free from usps um so another key thing is having thank you cards um to put into your packages those are so crucial because people don't really realize how much that is. Like, you know, I've ordered stuff from people and to see like thank you notes in them and things about reviews. Like, I love that. All right. So the next thing is business cards. Business cards are pretty crucial to me. I know some people say, oh, who passes out business cards anymore? You're like, but you don't want to be that person that gets stopped and doesn't have one. So having business cards to me is key. There's a bunch of different options that you can do. I'm just going to show these business cards that I have with some people. Um, but you could do, obviously, a traditional. You could do a traditional business card. It's like these ones have, like, front and back on them. You could do... Um, I have this, actually, business card. I haven't even used it yet, honestly. So I guess I can't give, like, a real review. But these are... T uh, these things called tappy cards. And you literally it's you just tap like it's so it's a regular card you carry it with you and somebody just taps it with their phone and it brings up all of your information um so it's like an electronic business card so this is the tappy card so this is mine look can y'all get a can y'all scan this through the video Sorry, no. <laughs> all right so this is the uh this is my tappy card so i said it has your my business name on there and the scanner so all somebody does is just scan the qr code and it brings up literally everything i want them to so it has like i have it set for my website um and then all of my social media so my instagram my facebook all of my business content literally all in one like i love this and i don't understand why this wasn't around before but i love this and the bubble that goes in the back on the back of your phone since you don't have to worry about it, it's always on you but yeah they also have like these little bubble ones that go on the back of your phone that people can also tap those to bring up your business card as well. So I have the, both the options between the paper ones and um, the electronic one. Now, one thing that I do, honestly, with my printer is I actually print my own business cards. And if I don't print them myself, I use Vistaprint, which I stand by like 100,000%. I use them for business cards, my thank you cards, promotional items like pins and stuff. I just bought calendars, like made a calendar with them. Like I love Vistaprint. But if I need something quick and in a hurry, um, I print business cards on my home. And yes, it's another Avery item. And Avery's pretty cool too, because if you go online, they actually have like templates for you to use and you just kind of plug in your information onto the card and you print it right out like that. Um, see. Also got these from um, Staples to do my own thank you cards too. So these are, they're, called, they're heavy postcards. You can get this is a Staples brand, but they have Avery and some other ones. Um, and you can use these to print out your own thank you cards on them as well, guys. Guys, if you are enjoying my video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, to support me and hit that like button as well to show some support to the channel as I continue to bring you guys more and more content. All right, so next, after business cards, is having card readers. So I have Square, Shopify, and PayPal Business. All three of those have um, card readers, whether it's the swipe one or the tap one. Um, or a whole POS setup. But all of them have um, card readers. So I suggest those for people that want to do like only local. Maybe it's like local pickups. Um, or you do drop-offs. Or if you like to do vending events. Or if you have an in-person store. Or um, whatever it is. Like, you know, you do 
uh what did i say pop-up shops whatever if you do any of these things where you want to be able to make sales in person then having these are key because the last thing you want y'all is for somebody to come up to you and be like i don't got cash cash up i don't have cash up like i have my card and trust me you think this won't happen you think everybody has like you know all this stuff technology but trust me i've done a bunch of events and i get people that are like i only have cash app i only have paypal i use venmo or i only have my card or whatever like and so you don't want to have to pass up a sale because you don't offer you don't accept that form of payment and then i always say to have card readers from multiple things so that way let's say one goes down you have a backup i just did an event in august and for some reason my square card reader was not working like it just wouldn't read it wouldn't read this person's card i don't know if it was their card or the reader whatever it wouldn't read the card so since then i went out and got a shop shopify one as well and i'm about to order a paypal one just to have it i think paypal's i, I don't know i think paypal may be free i don't know i know square their standard one is free and then all the other ones cost and then shopify it used to be free i don't know about now like it used to be free and then if you didn't have an account then it cost but you have to double check me on that don't quote don't quote me y'all don't quote me all right so yes having multiple options to be able to accept multiple forms of payment so that way you are never turning down a sale y'all the worst thing ever is it had to turn down a sale just because you can't accept their money like how dumb does that sound y'all okay anyway next <laughs> So another thing I suggest for people that like to take that take pictures of their products is to have a ring light um, so you can get the regular stand. Y'all know what it looks like. Mine is behind my camera, so you can't really see it, but a regular ring light um, so that we can take pictures of the clothes or even if you want to model in your own clothes, like set it up and take pictures in your clothes um, or get tabletop um, ring lights. I have a tabletop one. I think I got it for like six bucks for Amazon. It was like a glitch, y'all. I follow glitches. <laughs> but i think ideally they're like 15 20 bucks whatever but the tabletop ones are pretty cool for like those small items so you can take pictures of those and be able to get a real good lighting with it or y'all what i'm about to invest in is one of those light boxes like the mini light boxes um i'm sure y'all see ads it is all at least i see ads all the time for these like down facebook instagram whatever so i'm getting one but they're like mini light box i put a picture oop, right here mm -hmm. So that way you can see what I'm talking about. But it's a white box, pretty much. Um, it has the lighting in it. And it's in it's enclosed besides the front. You can put your items in it, take pictures. I don't know if you sell little things like lip gloss or people got pressed on nails now or purses or whatever. You can put all those items in there so you can take pictures of them. Another thing to have is a shipping scale. So if you plan on, like I said, planning on shipping your stuff yourself, I said the label make the label maker or labels and you print it from your printer packages like poly mailers bubble mailers boxes um but then you need a shipping scale um so that way you can know how much it weighs out when you're printing out your labels i know on like shopify and any other like are you squarespace all that stuff it'll have you put in um your weight so then it can be saved like that or you could just be you know weigh your stuff out as you go because people buy multiple things but having a shipping scale is so key y'all i used to try to use my kitchen scale it works sometimes for little stuff <laughs> but upgrading to a regular shipping scale is so crucial y'all so that way you can do all this stuff in-house and you don't got to pay nobody else like you buy this stuff one time and you don't got to keep paying somebody every time you go to the mail you know to the post office for them to met i can't even remember that every time y'all go to the post office and they ship your stuff for you save some money y'all um let me think am i think oh two more things one um a label maker and not like the label printer but like a, ma a label maker so you can print out labels for your items now um i wish i had it with me but label makers are pretty cool you can get the clear sticker it doesn't have to be the white one you can get the clear because i know the first thing y'all thought to y'all head was and white stickers girl no they got clear ones y'all can make your own labels for your stuff so that stuff like like i said the lip glosses or 
I don't know if you sell like cups and you want to put it in like a certain package and put the label of your name on it or whatever but those are that's so cute you can get it for like 15 20 bucks from Amazon or Walmart or something um and you can make your own labels to put on your stuff y'all another thing I didn't mention with packaging is another cute idea depending on what you sell adding in like tissue paper or the you know colored confetti or whatever that is and just to kind of add in a little boop to it or adding in stickers um I had got these stickers here's one put on here for my XL Co but you can put those stickers in the packages or I put those stickers on like the outside of my boxes or the outside of my mailers um but y'all just made just made me think about something you can get custom boxes to y'all um I could post some websites in the description box but you can also get custom boxes as well y'all so these are just a couple of essentials that I think are essential <laughs> or let me say this these are just a couple of things that i think are essential y'all um so running an online business or even you know in person when you do the pos but having and starting your business and having those key things so that way you can move smoothly as possible um with shipping out orders and fulfilling orders as is guys so that is the end of episode four of the entrepreneur boss life series presented to you guys by XL Co, XL Empowerment, guys. This video is sponsored by XL Co, of course, um, and XL Empowerment, of course. So, guys, if you support me, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell, guys, so you are notified of all of my videos. I don't hear no excuses, no nothing. I am trying to bring y'all the dopest DIYs, the dopest boss live content the dopest mental health content the dopest everyday life content y'all and by supporting me and hitting that like button and that subscribe button you guys that means the world and i'm going to continue to bring you guys good content as always you can do anything you put your mind to you got this get out there take what's yours and have some confidence guys love you guys adios see you next week bye oh no, I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week for this series. But I'm going to see y'all tomorrow because I got another video to post. Okay? Bye. <laughs>